yeah again hi guys welcome so again this next question of averages again a superb question okay a great concept underlines in the last video we saw what will happen when we remove one natural number right in the last video we saw what will happen if we remove one natural number let's see here what happens if we remove two natural numbers okay a little bit uh, more of uh, further advanced level question right so now get this point here guys okay so let me just, just discuss that concept of the last video which we ended on one natural number okay just move to two natural numbers right so take me let me take this example here so let's start off with one two three written till 50 so if i write one two fifty take for example okay so if i remove any two natural numbers here so first of all take the average so it's an ap right it's an arithmetic progression Okay, difference is one. So in AP, the average always average is always first term plus last term divided by two. That we have already studied in average videos, right? Okay. So that is equal to one plus fifty by two is equal to twenty five point five. Fine. Now let's remove two. In the first case here, let's remove two maximum numbers. So this to see the range of deviation, let's remove two maximum numbers. We remove. Okay. So what will happen here? If, if I remove anything from 1 to 48, right? 1 to 48. So basically I'm removing, for, uh, sorry, I'm removing 49 and 50, right? So two max numbers are 49 and 50. So let's remove two max numbers I've removed here. That is 49 and 50. So what will happen now? What is the average of 1 to 48? If you observe it, guys, the average of 1 to 48 will be, uh, again, one first term plus last term by two. Okay, that is equal to 24.5. Great. Now, what will happen if I do if I remove two minimum numbers? So what will happen if I remove two minimum numbers are removed? So two minimum numbers are removed. That is one and two. Uh, that is one and two. What will happen now? Let's check. If we check now, what will happen? So one, two, three. Uh, sorry, one, two is removed, right? Okay, they start from three. So three, four, five, until fifty, forty, fifty. Okay. So here from one to fifty, I removed. Two natural numbers right true minimum numbers okay that is one one and two so what is the average right the average is again three plus fifty by two that is twenty six point five can you see that from the main average the deviation is minus one and from the main average deviation is plus one right so i can write this as a concept here a very important concept okay as we written in the last video for one natural number once you remove one natural number, now the same thing for two natural numbers. Okay, when two natural numbers are removed, when two consecutive natural numbers are removed, when two consecutive natural numbers are removed. Okay, so uh, in that case, the average, okay, so the average fluctuation will be I can just write here the average deviation will be equal to plus minus one okay so here it was in the last video we saw it is plus minus 0.5 here it is plus minus one okay so uh it is plus minus one okay so now we can actually solve this question so two constant natural numbers uh average deviation is plus minus one okay so now Let's look at this question now. Okay, if you look at this question now, so this question is actually now it becomes a much easier question after knowing this concept. Otherwise, there will be many cases, right? If you don't know this concept here, fine. Okay, now let's look at this here. So in this question, it actually says that two consecutive natural numbers are removed from the list list of first and natural numbers, and the average of remaining numbers is sixty four by three. So I can say that the average of remaining numbers is how much here that is 64 by 3 and 64 by 3 will be 21.33 correct it is 21.33 now if it is 21.33 so my, my my point here will be uh to understand this that uh, again if i remove one or two natural numbers in this in in the same thing right which what will happen my average will be or uh, my total number of numbers will be around double okay for example again uh, I, we saw so in the last question also Okay, if we have something like 1 to 40. So if we have something like 1 to 40, the average will be what? For first term plus last term by 2 
that is 40 plus 1 by 2 40 20 20.5 okay if i remove also two numbers no it so this right now the average is roughly double right so average is roughly half of the total number of numbers so i can say that is 20.5 this is roughly double this is roughly double not exactly right but roughly double okay similarly if i remove two numbers even even those two numbers are maximum right so you can see this funda here also if I have, I have removed two numbers, the total number of numbers is still roughly double. 24.5 roughly double is 48 only. It is roughly double. Okay. And even if I remove two minimum numbers, still there are right now there are 48. Uh, this is uh, 26.5. Again, I can say roughly double only. Right. It's not triple, right? It's not triple, it's not one time. It's roughly double. Okay. So it is all, this is all roughly double only. Right. It is all roughly double. Okay. So if I remove one or two numbers, if I don't remove on, right, if I don't remove any, the, the total number of average is always around roughly double. Why? Because I divide by two. Huh? And this one will not make any impact, right? So in roughly double. Okay. So same thing I can uh, understand. So same thing fund I can apply here that for 21.33 is the average of remaining numbers, right? So again, I need to catch it by three as in the last question we had done. We caught by denominator in the last question, the denominator was 17, right? And we caught that, okay, that means it should be a multiple of 17. So for here also, I should think that average is always calculated by sum upon n. And when I do sum upon n, that sum, this n is here m3. Okay, something if numerator by denominator, something we would have cancelled and in last I am left with 3. That means denominator is a multiple of 3. So I need to see de if denominator is the multiple of 3, that means total number of numbers is a multiple of 3. If total number of numbers is a multiple of 3 and it is roughly around double, right? And the total number is, the total numbers will be roughly, roughly double of 21.33. Okay, roughly double, roughly, right? So that 21.33 roughly double and a multiple of three. Okay. So two things come in my mind, but understand this guys, this is a multiple of three after removing two numbers. No. So after removing two numbers, I'm left with a multiple of three. Correct. Right. So after removing two numbers, I'm left with a multiple of three. And one more concept we just saw that if the average is 21.33, okay the average cannot go beyond this plus minus one. So after removing two numbers, my average is 21.33, right? So plus minus one is the ultimate deviation, right? So in that case, my original average, my original average will lie somewhere between 21.33 plus minus one range. Okay, that means from 20.33, to 22.33 that's the range right so got this point no this is point number three what is point number three here original average is in this range 20.3 22.33 what is point number two point number two is total number should be all around double of 21.33 what is point number one point number one will be that denominator after removing those two numbers should be a multiple of three these three points if i combine together and we put pressure on our our, our mind okay then we will be able to think that which uh, which uh, what are the total number of numbers here right so after removing two numbers it should be a multiple of three so 21.33 roughly double a uh, one thing should come in my mind is 42 right so after removing two numbers if i am left with 42 numbers that means originally there would have been 44 numbers correct one thing that come to my mind is 39 correct after removing two numbers a roughly double, a rough double of 21.33 ah roughly right so after removing two numbers it could be around 39 that means total there would be 41 numbers right now let's try to examine these cases if if i say ki there was initially 44 numbers first 44 natural numbers okay so what is their average guys so average of first 44 natural number is 1 plus 44 by 2 that is 22.5 okay now tell me can 22.5 be my average no na we just saw that the original average cannot go beyond 22.33 by this concept 
the maximum deviation can be plus minus one. Okay, saw the concept. So now this is twenty two point five. Okay, so if there are thirty nine numbers, if there is thirty nine here, right? Now there are total forty one numbers. So what is the original average? So original average could be one plus forty one by two. That is sorry, yeah, one plus uh forty one by two. That could be the original average twenty one. So twenty one lies in my range. That's fine, perfectly fine. Twenty one lies. This is not in my range. If this this is not in my range, so I won't take the case of forty five also. A multiple of three around uh, around approximately double of twenty one point three three. We have multiple of three called forty five also, but we won't see in that range, right? Because if twenty two point five is out, it out, it's outside the range. Okay, then we cannot go further also beyond this, right? Okay, so that means the only possibility is thirty nine. Okay, and that means originally, originally. There were forty one numbers. So originally, there were forty one numbers, and after removing two numbers, we have we are left with thirty nine numbers. Okay, we are left with thirty nine numbers. Okay, so that's a great concept, right? Okay, we are left with thirty nine numbers. Okay, now we can just uh, finish this question now. Don't you? Because it becomes quite simple with the uh, sum. We can just get calculate this sum here, right? Okay, so let me just wrap this part for you. Okay. Okay, so now we can see that guys, the sum now. Okay, the sum now. Okay, the there were originally first, and there 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 were originally. Uh, okay, so now we can see this guys. The originally we had got first and natural numbers, no? Okay, so I can see here that the first and natural numbers. So originally we got originally we got forty one numbers. Okay, so what is sum of first forty one numbers? So sum of one two till forty one. What is that sum? N into n plus one by two. So forty one into forty two by two will be equal to forty one into twenty one. So forty one into twenty one will be eight twenty and forty one eight sixty one. Okay, and then uh after removing two numbers right so now the sum of the sum of rest 39 numbers what is guys what what will this will be sum is always average into n what is the average here average is average is 64 by 3 and what is n here 39 so we see that 3 and 39 so 64 into 13 that is 640 and 1 uh, 192 it is 832 That means after removing two consecutive natural numbers, we see a difference of twenty nine. There is a difference of twenty nine after removing two consecutive natural numbers. The difference of twenty nine. So twenty nine as a sum of two consecutive natural numbers, fourteen plus fifteen. This is the answer. So fourteen and fifteen are my two natural numbers. I was asked the product. So fourteen into fifteen is how much? This is. Two one zero. That is the answer. So I hope all of you like this question, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. So great concept. Sure. Okay. And also, also this combat, guys. Okay. So this a uh, combat. Uh, you know, it's a very good test series. It contains some good high quality questions. Okay. So the easy questions are are not asked here. So it basically it contains only. Good uh, medium and high quality questions with some uh, very advanced concepts. Okay, and uh, uh, this from this Sunday onwards, it is in basically revised format. So basically, we are mo moving closer to CAT right now. So in January, February, and March, we were like away. Uh, we are around eight to ten months away from CAT. So the questions we put off may be some uh, easier or medium level, right? But this from now onwards, the questions will be of higher higher level. Okay. And uh, all the LRD sets also, um, this quant questions also, and basically it's a fun, it's fun, right? Actually, giving this is a fun because after every question you get you get 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 your live ranking, okay? 
then uh, after every question the faster you answer the better your the better your rank is right you get more points so actually the, those one hour test is a fun and actually if you look at the cat you should give a uh, multiple uh, sectional tests and test before cat okay and this one of your high quality tests absolutely free of cost and uh, now from uh, earlier it was not that rewarding but now they have introduced some uh, great rewards in this i think okay so rank 1 to 3 one year subscription i think around 20000 or 75% scholarship or 50% so so great prizes are on offer here okay so get it live from your mobile app you just put the in, uh, link here i'll uh, this uh, invite code you can put here ravi roda it ask you for invite code it is absolutely absolutely free of cost okay ask you for invite code put ravi roda and the link i'll put in description just enroll from there okay and do give this every sunday do give this at 12 pm it's on every sunday okay so every sunday give this on 12 pm thank you